what is the AI for you? Because you're building an AI which sort of things like humans, right? You're going to the next level. Let's talk about that. The whole point of computer science was to develop an AI model to emulate the human mind. For many years, it was impossible. The human mind that developed and evolved through millions of years of natural evolution. There's been theories how to achieve it. Some shortcuts or simulations are these things called large language models. Charge you um, Yeah, their products derived of this branch of AI called NLP, which stands for Natural Language Processing. Mm -hmm. They're pretty much like three-dimensional matrices. You play video games, right? Oh, yeah. How the polygons and the vectors work, right? It's like a cross, and then there's three axes, right? There's the X, the Y, and the Z. Basically, what these language models are is that they're coordinates in that matrix. Whenever you ask a language model, hey, can you tell me a poem that talks about blue roses? The language model, what it does is that it'll give you like a written poem with those parameters based on where those words are located in that three-dimensional matrix. The model and tells the model, hey, the word blue is in coordinates 1x, z, 3, y, 50. And that's how the model knows that word labeled in that area is related to the poem that you're asking it to. You do this at scale tens of thousands of times. The language model starts to not become smarter. It's just giving you much more refined answers because there's more data scientists labeling the outputs. They're not really thinking. They do a really good job at giving the appearance of intelligence, but it's just a really long equation of words, right? Of previously labeled data. Now, I'm not saying that they're not helpful. They are helpful, but it's not real intelligence. Well, fortunately for some.